Hi, I'm Bob Einschel, Senior Editor with CE Pro Magazine. Today we are speaking with Alex Camara, CEO of Audio Control. How are you doing, Alex? Hey, Bob. Great to be here. Thank you for taking time out of your day to uh, speak with me. Um, we're going to talk about multi-room audio, whole house audio, and Audio Control has a pretty diverse line of products of high-performance products that can address the residential and commercial markets. Um, I, I want to talk about the differences in your product line and how they can help integrators out in the field addressing both market categories. Uh, my okay. first question, uh, can you provide us with an overview of the differences between the architect series and the director series of amplifiers? So Bob, I think one of the things to, to, to kick it off is, you know, we talk about our business from, you know, really what is a, you know, something in, in the between of a source of music and a speaker. Okay, that's really what we do. You know, and we use the phrase with our team here, we go from the mundane to the magnificent. So really what we're trying, trying to do here in Seattle is take the whole multi-room experience and just change that perception of, oh, it's just the amplifier or it's just something out the back. You know, we want the amplifier and this is what we deliver to be that, that change in someone's experience, that change in their lifestyle, you know, and, you know, we, and we live and breathe that every day. And you're, and you're right, we start off with the architect. The architects are basically, you know, probably our biggest unit sellers, you know, we call them set and go. Okay, so basically you, you put them in, you set them in, whether it's eight channels, uh, 12 channels, 16 channels, two channels, high, you know, high power, low impedances available. You know, uh, once you put them in, you set them and you go. Okay, and you know, with a five year warranty, with all the production being done here in Seattle, with the testing, and you're gonna hear me say testing a lot during this, you know, this short interview because we test literally 25 feet away from where I'm sitting today, you know, we're testing and testing and going through it again and again and again with all our products, that creates the reliability. And nobody really has that opportunity to do that. So the architects, set and go, rock solid, five-year warranties, um, we love them. The directors, you take all of that power, you take all of the experience of the architects, you know, literally 20 years of experience in developing that product, and then you add on a whole platform of software, you know, a whole platform of DSP, that allows you to basically configure the room, do sound correction, sound measurement. Uh, we have the sound partner program. So we work with something like 18 speaker companies now where their profiles are inside the directors. Okay, and they've given us those profiles. We don't make them up. They've given us those profiles. We put them in there. You can select the speaker type that you're installing, which zone you're installing it in, and boom, and it immediately will configure that speaker into that zone. So. You've got that, you've got, you've got controls on volumes, you've got control on equalization, you've got parametric and EQ, uh, graphic equalization as well. You've got a myriad of ways to be able to control the room. So I just love the fact that when we talk about mundane to the magnificent, we don't do mundane, we do magnificent, and the DSP directors are really at the top end of that control in the, uh, in the space that you're trying to configure. Getting or uh, focusing specifically on the DSP capabilities of your products, I think of that as more of a uh, pro audio approach. How, how helpful is uh, these DSP options to integrators in the field when they're um, designing custom systems? Yeah, it's a cool question because really when we started doing the, the, the DSP directors, we took a lot of learning from the professional market, from the commercial market, and we could see how we could apply that into the home. So one of the key parts of, of this right at the beginning was to take the actual experience that many commercial operations have and bring that into the home, but also in a way that can be easily replicated. You know, what we didn't want to do was create some really time consuming, difficult um, approach to this that the integrator and particularly their teams right in the field would have to sort of struggle with on every single job. So what we did with the DSP was not just create a very user friendly um, DSP itself, the actual user interface, and with really easy to understand features, but we allowed it to be one, very trainable, okay, two, very um, replicable. So you can literally set a zone, set a speaker the way you like it to be set, and you can take that from project to project to project. And many people do that. They'll literally take a whole house, six zones. They'll actually, in fact, a good example, a good story is how we work on many jobs with Sonos. They may take a four channel director, let's say something like the M4800. It has four um, analog inputs, it has four coax inputs, it has four digital inputs. You can literally use it as a four zone Sonos amplifier. Okay, uh, one, it allows you to make more money in the project, but two, it gives you a much greater experience 
right, from using Sonos um, or something similar to Sonos in the house. Now you can set that up, four zones, M4800, set up the way you like it set up, and then literally that's a package you can take from home to home to home and sell to the client, home to home to home. So um, that, that's just one example of how easy it is for the director amplifiers. And we took all of that to your point, right, and layer that through every single director amplifier, um, whether it's eight channel or 16 channel. So uh, very, really powerful message for uh, integrators. Okay, not to overlook your 70 volt products, you also have a whole series of 70 volt products. How do these 70 volt products fit into the audio control product line and how do they uh, complement the other products, including the DSP products? Yeah, uh, 70 volt is really important to us. Uh, we've been developing that for about, uh, gosh, 18 months to two years now. Um, due to launch it uh, in the fall, okay, very excited about that because it takes all of the experience, all of the power of the directors and puts that directly into this new 70 volt platform, a two channel, a three channel, four channel. The four channel is 3000 watts in total. You can run it in, in as, a, as an eight ohm system, eight ohm amplifier if you wish to, or you can run it as a 70 volt amplifier. Um, it's high power, high current. It has digital inputs in it, into it as well, which most 70 volt products don't have. So not just analog, but digital in there as well. The ability to actually sync it in with, uh, with an outdoor or an indoor uh, or commercial application. Um, and then also, we haven't really announced it yet, but also we'll have an option for adding in Dante as well. So it'll be Dante enabled, we speak Dante uh, sort of thing as well. So that's gonna be really important, I think. And a lot of, lot of interesting uh, demand for us and talking to us about Dante and ABB and other applications like that. So 70 volt, really important for us, major project that people have been waiting for and asking for. And, uh, uh, our engineers, which again are, uh, let me think, they're probably 60 feet that way upstairs, um, are actively involved in that at the moment. Okay, since you brought up uh, outdoor audio and I'll throw in Dante, which is, I think, very exciting for the residential market. Um, how are you using uh, Dante to help integrators and what are you doing specifically in the outdoor audio category to help dealers? Well, the outdoor category has exploded in the last, I think in the last two to four years. Okay, and I think that there are a ton of speaker companies out there doing some amazing outdoor systems now. Clearly what we're trying to do here is really bring a different way of doing 70 volt, you know, particularly outdoors from a point of view of being able to bring the whole DSP control, the whole um, digital input control and Dante to that in really being able to power you know, multiple speakers. I think, I can't remember, the number is something like 32 speakers on one channel, you know, you know depending on the actual uh, rating of the speaker and how much power you need from that, in, in that string in effect. So that's a major piece that our dealers have been asking us for. We, you know, we've listened to the dealers. We spend a lot of time in the field, until recently, obviously, with everything that's gone on, but we spend a lot of time in the field talking to dealers on Zoom calls these days about the feedback they need. And 70 volt outside, strong reliability, right? Really great um, performance and, uh, of, of the actual music, musicality of the amplifier, particularly outside where it's so important. You know, you haven't got a contained space. You've got to manage that whole outdoor space. When you take the power and performance of the director, and as we've done, put that into the, what we call the CM series, our own 70 volt series, it's a different experience. And it's, you know, I know I'm biased, but it really, on all the listing tests I've been doing so far, compared to other 70 volt, um, products, you know, in the commercial world, it is by far the best sounding and I think best performing amplifier. And again, I want to remind people, you know, we test everything here. This is not a boat that arrives with a bunch of boxes, you know, it's made in the USA, developed here, made here, as I said, 20 feet away from where I'm sitting, you know, and that's really part of the fun of it. I mean, it's just, you know, when you, when you walk the factory and you see people, you know, hand finishing these products, hand testing them, signing the card to say, I tested this product. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, um, now that we're kind of easing back into the new normal uh, and um, we're, 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 we're slowly working our way out of quarantine, what are some of the opportunities that Audio Control sees for its dealers as we head towards that new normal? I think uh, for our industry, this is a incredible opportunity. I think this is, I mean, clearly it's been a, it's been a very tough time out there and, and a sad time for many. So I don't take any of that away, but from our industry point of view, I don't think we've ever been placed with opportunities as big as this um, 
for many years, if not decades. Home entertainment, the home experience, the experience you get in your car and in your home will become more important than ever. I was reading some reports a couple of weeks ago, really on just how home entertainment will be one of those areas, whether it's our theater platform products, whether it's our multi-room audio, that's gonna basically become more and more important. People have lived with substandard audio for too long. You know, I've heard this, I've heard this from friends, I've heard this from clients, from dealers I speak to every week, that you know, I've just sat here for weeks now realizing actually how average my experience was. And I think an important point of that for audio control is, you know, our power is real. I mean, people sometimes, I don't think give enough credit to the importance of real power when you get to amplification. I, I get so frustrated you know, in talking to people on the phone and on Zoom the last few weeks, and you know, it doesn't sound great. You know, I got it from this company, da 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 da. And I'm like, what are the speakers? And they tell me this wonderful speaker they've got and how much money they spent on speakers. And I say, well, what's the amplifier? I say, oh, well, we've got a, you know, some, you know, a control amplifier of some sort or something that was just put in at the same time. Or did you think about that? Did you think about how to spec? No, they just gave me that amplifier. It's so frustrating, you know. Okay, so. I think audio control amplification really creates that experience that people are looking for with great speakers, obviously, you know, and I think it's, you know, we leave a lot of money on the table when people don't actually think enough about amplification. So I think a massive opportunity, Bob, really, and we're excited about it and um, working with our speaker partners on it as well. And, um, you know, and it, it's there for us to really, you know, improve the lives of those customers. I completely agree. I'm hearing the exact same thing that, after being stuck inside for a couple of months, people uh, are finding all the limitations with their home electronics. And uh, there's going to be a real opportunity for the dealers out there to uh, um, offer people an improvement, you know, whether it be immersive audio or, or mm -hmm. uh, updated whole house audio systems or whatever it may be. It, it, it could be a really good opportunity for the market. Um, my final question in addition to the product line, which we, we've been discussing, and the basic necessity of order fulfillment, what are some of the other ways that audio control supports its dealers through uh, programs that include training and technical sales support, uh, in-field support? What's the company do to make sure that its dealers deliver on that promise to end users? You know, thanks, because that, that's probably the heart of what we do. I mean, one of the things we're lucky about is that you know we have literally we have our engineers upstairs we have production through the door there we have our sales team at the back here we have our technical support team sitting in right outside my door here you know we just have this you know incredible team that provides frontline support every day and i think from our point of view training is key you know being candid we've discovered a lot about the benefits of zoom training or similar types of training you know during this recent few weeks you know and how to apply that you know, you've got live people here answering the phone. That's a massive difference. I often forget how important that is when people remind me. You know, we've got an award-winning technical support team. We've got a training team. We even have a specifying team. So obviously we have a lot of new dealers that join us, you know, and we'll help them specify their projects, you know, new and existing dealers. So it's really just a care for the customer. It's a passion. We, we empower our people to solve problems. So, you know, we don't like, you know, we'll help our team solve it, but ideally we empower them to do that and again, I think just going back briefly again to the testing. I mean, the fact of how we build these products here in the United States and how we test them just makes that big difference that most companies can't do. Okay, I think I lied, a little tiny lie. I do have one more question. Uh, we're wrapping things up. What is uh, the best way for people to learn more about the auto control product line? I've never asked this. No, just, just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, Basically, www.audiocontrol.com. Sam.great is the email at audiocontrol.com. Alex.c at audiocontrol.com. I love to talk to people. Uh, our sales team are, are, are there. And our, our number here is 425-775-8461. We're, we're available in all ways. So, uh, yep, we're here for you. Thank you, Alex, for taking time out of your day. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, again, if people want to learn more about audio control, please go to audiocontrol.com. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Great. Thank you.